Okay. So welcome to the first of our Thursday Docs office hours. <laughs> and uh, here are the topics that I had. Zinab, can you see my screen okay? Yes, I can. Excellent, okay. So AWS account deactivation was one topic for me. Pull request progress, another. Calendar for the next two weeks. What's next? And I propose we review briefly the Jenkins wiki plan just so that Zenob, you're aware of that and, and have some notion of it and can consider it. Any other okay. topics people would like to discuss? Um, so on that pull request, uh, I don't know, this is more of a question. So um, is there a way to um, tag pull requests as work in progress so reviewers don't have to review yet? Say when you open a pull request and you're not done yet or it's not ready for review. Good question. Yes, there is. So yeah, so let's let's review how that's done and we can show it as part of part of that topic. Yeah, let's be sure that we include it. That's great. Happy to show it to you and draft pull request and how it works in the Jenkins project. Good. Sure. Anything else? Um, I think that's all for me. Okay. Excellent. All right. So top of the top topic was this one. And I'm going to drag my screen in, Zinab, so that we can we can look at it together. So what I'm okay. seeing is on my I'm still spending roughly two US dollars a day on elastic container service for Kubernetes and EC2 other. Now I don't know what those mean. And actually, maybe what we ought to check is, are they in a different region somehow? And you're not seeing them because of the region they're in. So they're definitely in the US East Ohio region, which I think is US East 2. Yes. But that's that's the region you were using, right? So that's the same yes. region you were using before. OK, yes. so and, and you've looked to see if you could find these things. And you don't see them when you log in from your account. I don't, um, but maybe I can also share my screen so we can see. That would um, be great if you'd be willing. Also. Okay. Um, oh, let's see. And maybe I need to grant, per oh, share, share permission is allowed. Okay. Um, can you see my screen? Can yes, thank you. So, Kristen, my apologies. We're trying to trying to stop the spend on Google's some season of Docs AWS resources that's being done on my personal account. So, we're going to oh, use some good. of your time today to do that. It's all good. Don't worry. All right. So this is. Um, my EC2 dashboard. And it's definitely Ohio. Yeah. Sorry, my network is a bit slow this evening. And, and that's perfectly fine. Just that the fact that you're doing this for me is a great help. Thank you. Okay, so you can see um, instances running. Okay, Says, so could you, would you be willing in the top search segment to type okay. in EKS? Let's go look at the Elastic Kubernetes service. Let's see if it's hiding an instance some other place. Okay. Yeah, pick that one. Okay. 
because I don't understand why it's not showing them to you in the instances. It clearly says, and they're, they seem to be continuing to charge me for it, but it's, it's not listed in your EC2 console, just like it's not listed in mine. I see. So, yeah, this is my EKS. You can see, like... Yeah, so if you click the clusters over on the left, I bet it will tell us you have none. Okay. All right. Oh, no, you have a cluster. Good. So we have something that we can delete. Big win. Uh, why not? Uh, I assume well, you're okay, Luz. I was about to say, like, sometimes, you know, if you contact the Amazon <laughs> and you mention things or, like, try to describe what's going on, they can, like, point it out. <laughs> but, but, yeah, if you had something, that's even more perfect. So. So, whoops, your spell, your, you have to make correct a typo there. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. All right, big win. Wow. Okay, so is there anything else we could check? That, that is already good enough because the, the only place I was seeing potential charges were in the EKS cluster. So the fact that you had one is a big victory for me because it says, even though I can't see your cluster when I look at the same account, you okay. found it, you were able to delete it. So major victory. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry for the extra charges. Oh, no problem. My part of part of part of this exercise is the company gets to the company that employs me occasionally gets to be asked to donate to open source. So okay. you okay if I take so I back Sherry? Yes, stop me right now. Okay. All right. Oh, that's great. So I am going to hang on. I have to make a note of that. Major victory. EKS cluster found and deleted. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. So next topic was pull request progress. So I've been doing... Uh, this one, I wanted a safety check with you, Zinab, if you're okay with what I'm doing. I've just taken the, the bold approach that as I find little changes, I just keep pushing them. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I noticed I'm okay. I'll just pull um, on my local branch and look at the changes you've made. Yeah, and, and you are welcome to, before we merge this, we will actually squash all of this out. So we okay. won't, in particular, because a number of the pictures that I did are with, mm -hmm. with the brand new current weekly UI because it, it makes better pictures, uh, oh, but okay. they are large and I don't want to waste the space having old outdated pictures in there. So I will squash this before we, before we or squash or rebase before we do the final merge. Okay. Okay. So. So the answer to my, is that okay with you? Yes, that's okay. We'll review as changes arrive. Great, excellent. So as part of that, I've been working through and I work, I work with it in about two hour chunks. And since I'm a Kubernetes novice, uh, my two hour chunks tend to be spent exploring this, exploring that, follow the directions, then decode it. And as part of that, I'll make comments or make changes and push them. So don't be shy if you feel like, oh, I changed something that for you was important because I didn't understand it well enough and I changed it wrong. Let me know. Okay. And the other is, I think, likely will partition the content into other locations rather than the scaling page. Because the more I've more I've been experimenting with it, there's managing agents, right? And that's mm -hmm. we've already got a page on managing agents that's weak on mm -hmm. content. So adding Kubernetes would be a big win. There's more okay. on uh, choosing uh, on let's see, there was there's a, a nice section on installing uh, and administering agents. Now, I did have a, a problem that I, oh, oh, the other was I, I boldly changed 
the Docker image, the, the Docker file content to not include Maven from the master, just be from master, oops, that's the wrong word, from the controller. Um, so, so be sure you check that Zenob in case there's something I've missed that later on is dependent on that and I've broken things. Okay. And the other was that I simplified plugin installation and broadened. So the, the similar plugins are still installed, but I used two plugins at the top level to get them. One was Kubernetes plugin, the other was the Blue Ocean plugin. Okay. And you'll you'll see that in the in the changes. And I'm, let's see, the other was I'm still struggling to make the, the demonstration Kubernetes pipe, pipeline work. And I don't know why I haven't, I'm gonna have to ask, actually, Kristen, I may, may beg your help on this. Somebody else's, when I, I try to start it, okay. the pipeline, and it, it never gets an agent allocated. Okay. And I don't know why, and I'm I'm not fluent enough. So, if if I don't solve it myself within the next little bit, I may okay. drop something in the chat asking yeah. for help from people, saying, "Hey, what could I be doing wrong on this?" Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, when Zinab, when you were writing the original material, were you able to make the agents run? Yes, I was. Okay, good. So then it must be some mistake I'm making. Or maybe some mistake I made in documentation. Uh, actually, it, it worked for you and didn't work for me. So that, that highlights it's likely my mistake. So I'll keep looking. Great. All right. So that PR, I suspect we're probably still a week away from merging it just because of the pace that I'm going at. Thanks for letting me take the time to go through it. It's been very instructive to me and, and I'll keep working at it. I've, I've spent two different two hour sessions this week and I assume it'll take two or three more just like that. Okay, thank you for taking out the time to go through it. Oh, hey, this, well, this has been so educational for me in terms of, I need to be sure I know how to administer Kubernetes because part of my responsibilities in the Jenkins project is dealing with our Kubernetes server, but I'm unskilled in that. And so I tend to avoid it. This is helping me stop avoiding it. <laughs> All right. I'm glad I could help a little. All right, so, so the next, your question was how to tag a pull request as a work in progress. Let's go yes. grab a pull request and let's look at one and you'll see, we can see the, the marker that's used and how you, how you activate that marker. So we should be able to find a thing. Ah, here we go, this is a good one. It's, this is one that's proposing to add a change and it uses this big draft label here. Yeah, the okay. word draft is a nice help, but that's not the crucial thing. The thing is actually okay. this big button draft. And if I remember correctly, we can mark something as draft when we create it, or I'm gonna temporarily mark this one as a draft. Notice I'm gonna zoom this, this page in Okay. And over here on the right hand side, there under reviewers is this still in progress question. Okay. Right next to it is the word convert, convert to, draft. to draft. Right. So watch what happens when I click that. I click it and it says, Oh, are you sure you want to do this? You're going to make this a draft pull request. And a draft means no review is required yet. So I'm going to convert it to draft and notice that it put up the pretty, the big button there that says, Oh, this yeah. is a draft. Now, when I'm done with that, when I think, Oh, Hey, this is ready to be reviewed. 
I will then press this button here, ready for review. All right, okay. So okay. this one says, now I'm ready to review it. Oh. And it's it's now back in now back, ready for ready for review by whoever. So did that help? Yeah, it did a lot. So um, like through the GSOT program up until now, most times I don't open pull request until the work is ready for review because I don't want people to have to be reviewing um work that is not done yet. So I just thought to ask today because of the AWS tutorial, it's kind of much and different from the other work. So if there's a way I could open pull request on that and keep updating it till it's ready for review. But thank you. And, and there is, and in fact, something like that tutorial is really a good thing to put up for review because it may help others steer you if they choose to review it with while knowing that they're not they're the things they're reviewing are not yet fully vetted yeah so for me one of the things that earlier review might have might have helped was let, let me grab that the scaling one the pictures here inside i've shifted them so that they they are much smaller in terms of screen width and and by making them smaller they oops not that one that's one of the existing ones this one right i think it's this one let's try that yeah so so this one is a, a smaller picture and it, it expands to fill the space so it's easier to read for the uh for the the person reading the doc so that that's something that early review can help with sometimes saying oh hey make the pictures bigger okay next topic anything else on that topic before we go on um, i think we were supposed to do a retrospective today Oh, we were. Oh, my sakes. That's embarrassing. You are correct. And I'm not ready for that. Uh, you're right. That's that is really awkward. Let's let's get that. That should have been higher priority than any of the other things on the list. Sorry. Let's put that here. Retrospective. And we had I had a document started on Google season of docs. Let me see if I can find it just a minute and we will we will start with that retrospective. Sorry about that, Zinab. Okay, Google Season of Docs retrospective. There, 2020 Google Season of Docs retrospective. Here we go. Okay. Wow, that, that, thank you very much, Zenob. You are wonderful. Sorry that I forgot that. Okay. All right, so this is where we, the way I've done retrospectives in the past was try to encourage people to outline what we've got in timeline and then talk about strengths, weaknesses, improvements, and actions. Will that work okay for the two of you? Yeah. Okay, so this is where you start calling out any one of those categories and I'll quickly type the notes. What things went well, what things didn't go as well, etc. Um, I think we had a really good uh, topic selection. Like not only was it a good, like something that was needed by the community, but I think um, it was had just narrow enough focus to be easily accomplishable in the time period. Because I know, like you know. Zena was awesome doing all that good work and then but it's like you know you know it's not a full-time position so <laughs> giving her time to be able to work on everything it's like produced like very good documentation because I think we had a really there was a good topic and it wasn't too broad where it got too large and we spent a lot of time you know discussing the doc discussing what we needed to do for documentation I, I think that helped make the project successful I like that very good
Zinab, any any strengths you wanted to highlight? Yeah, um, regular communication. Um, the meetings twice a week, we were able to um, follow up with that. And it really helped in speeding up the work and Okay, very good. So one of the struggles for me was, and I thought we I thought we we handled it well, but the the internet bandwidth across continents is not always reliable. Right, and that's just the nature of it. We're we're dealing with someone who's in Africa and people who are in North America, and we adapted by using screen sharing without video. Worked great. And um, system requirements also was another weakness. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, that's a particular one. Now, do you feel like that one worked out okay or? For me, that one was uh, Kubernetes is resource intensive, right? And yeah, and yet, I think it, it it worked out well at the end of the day. Um, I think the only time this came up or this was kind of a blocker was um, running Jenkins.io, but we were able to um, solve that. With that's a good VM. point. So the the thing that that I would had thought would be the barrier was not the barrier, right? Good point. The Jenkins.io site on uh, Windows laptop finally ran a virtual machine inside the Windows. Uh, it was a an Ubuntu virtual machine. Is that correct? Yeah. Then another thing about this. Um, <laughs> This virtual machine was it. It's really um, as regards resources. <laughs> it's it was kind of um, resource intensive. Like running my virtual machine sometimes um, stops Docker from running on my Windows box because it's not able to assign enough RAM to right. both the VM and Docker. So. Sometimes, anyway, not always. Depending well, and on since, the of work I'm doing. as I understand it, on Windows, Docker is also running in a virtual machine. So, effectively, you were running two virtual machines. Yep. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Yeah. So, so that's that's the surprise for Mark that the that Kubernetes was not the issue. Resource use was not the issue. So need to assure Jenkins.io dev on Windows is easier. Or tell people it's not a tell tell people it doesn't work. Use Linux VM. Good. Okay. So I think um, you don't have to rule um, Windows out completely. Maybe just include um, more like system requirements or something. Because um, for people that are running a version of Windows, I can't really remember the exact version. They're able to run WSL2 conveniently. And I think if they're able to run WSL2, um, should be fine. But I wasn't able to use the BSL to my PC because um, of the version of Windows I was running. Right. Good. Okay. Then also another thing is probably we might have been able to solve the, the BSL. 
cell phone issue, just that we're not able to then and not to take up much time. That's why we opted out for VPN. So it will also be a good idea to try and um, maybe look at a tutorial on how to make the PSL phone work on Windows. Right. Right, good, okay. Okay. Other insights. See, was I assume that GitHub, GitHub use, GitHub workflows were not a surprise for you? You'd used them before. Yeah. <laughs> Code review was okay, worked, worked well. I, I know I liked that Xenob allowed me, allowed reviewers to push directly. There is a setting that you can use to disable that. And I was grateful that you didn't disable it so that I could give faster feedback that way. Kristen, any concerns for you or weaknesses that you saw? Um, I guess the one thing is like, I didn't really see us have many, many tickets or maybe I just somehow missed that in a lot of our, like, or how, how we were planning out the work in advance, I guess it was mostly just through Google Docs. I didn't know if it would be better to have tracked that somewhere or like to show to point to stuff. I, I don't really know if that was as important for this project, but it might've been a good place to like solicit early feedback. But really, I don't really have much that was negative here. <laughs> Overall, the project, the project was really good. So like, it's a lot harder to find things that are wrong. Well, but I think that's an interesting one because GitHub issue, issues and uh, GitHub and GitHub projects are both being used in different parts of uh, the Jenkins project, in portions of the Jen of Jenkins. So um, GitHub issues are available for Jenkins.io here. We could have used issues to track. And a project is, is an interesting one. For me, it was, I found GitHub projects to be something lighter weight than JIRA projects, than JIRA epics. Let's see, where did that go? Retrospective, oh, here it is, wrong one. But we didn't use it, so that's an interesting idea, yeah. Now, Zenob, have you worked with GitHub projects before or just with GitHub issues and pull requests? Just Okay. All right. So it would have been unfamiliar to you, just like it would be to many others. Okay. Good. All right. Jira Epic track. Good. Okay. And maybe I should, rather than saying Jira tickets, Kristen, I think what you'd said was not many tickets. So you wouldn't object if we use GitHub issues. You don't care what ticketing system, I presume, but rather that it might have helped clarity yeah. if we'd used a ticketing system. Right. Yeah. I don't really care what ends up being used. Sometimes GitHub is easier. GitHub issues are easier because then it, it's right there in the repository. Um, but I didn't know if it would be like, it, 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 it's kind of like publishing a timeline of what would have been expected or like kind of maybe being able to share that out with the wider community. Like the Jenkins. Right. Right. So, yep. And then just have a chance for people to make comments on that versus like, cause we were doing a lot of things on Google docs and that was great for like, you know, going in and editing and things before making the pull request, but it would be given a chance for um, maybe some other people in the community to have some, like, say something or have input or just be like, yeah, I'm really excited for this. And it's something they can track and follow for when it does get released. But I mean, that's kind of like not, it's neither here nor there to me. Like, mm -hmm. so. yeah. Good. Okay.
And I think there was some struggle initially where I'm not sure we were as clear with the outline. Zinab, you, you overcame that pretty quickly, but should we have started the project already with an outline in place rather than having you develop it after we start after you started the official writing? Yeah, I think it would have been, yeah. That's, that's... Because part of the proposal to, to yeah, okay, start. Outline creation is a good definition exercise yeah. rather than content creation exercise. Okay. I think most of this content was also written on the improvements. Any, let's see, any other, any other things like that where we say, oh, we could, do, we could do this better or do that. Oh, oh, we're, we're times, times were sometimes a complication. I think the times are, are finding times that worked for everyone was, well, was crucial and sometimes challenging, right? Because it's, end of your working day and in the middle of Kristen's and mine working days. Yeah, yeah, especially for the knowledge sharing session. Then also, I think it would be great if um, the knowledge sharing sessions could be um, during the community bonding period. Ah, yes, good suggestion. Or okay, at that's least at the beginning of the project. Yes, yes, very good in the community bonding period. Very good. Well, and, and let me put a note on that. I felt like the, the knowledge sharing was a real strength that we got, we, we had great information from them. The, the improvement for me was do it sooner. Knowledge sharing sessions. Very valuable, whoops. Good, okay. Earlier is better than later. Okay, good. Other other suggestions, other recommendations. Actually, there were times there. One for me was uh, may need more mentors. Even with three, there were times when reviews were delayed. Right the. The most recent PR is still is a good example of that. Right, that's a, where, that's a really good point. Like just any chance to have extra reviews. Right, more mentors or more, maybe even it's just more committed reviewers, even if they can't attend the mentoring sessions. That's a good point. Yeah, maybe that's more, more of it, be getting people to review. Yeah, actually, maybe that is it. We needed a different concept. Yeah, so that's a good thing for improvements. I think just being able to kind of reach out to other people who might have been interested in reviewing. Um, yeah, because mentors may say, hey, I can't spend time every week mentoring, but I will agree to, on request, help with reviews. Go ahead, Kristen, excuse me. Aside even, um, oh, sorry, go ahead, Kristen. Oh, no, you're good. No, I'm sorry. I was just saying that. No, no, that was it. <laughs> okay, so um, aside the fact that mentors might not have time also, then um, consider um, knowledge base. There might be people in the community that has um, more knowledge about the topic we are working on, say, 
um, for instance, Tustin reviewing the pull request on Helm um, and things like that. So I think that's another reason to get reviewers aside time. Good, very good. I like that. That and that should probably be, we should probably do that prior to start of community bonding. Yeah. So which means we will need to highlight um, specific topics we intend to work on um, so we can know um, reach out to the community and you know map out specific um, people who are going to be reviewing these topics when content is ready. Good, yes. Excellent. Okay. Any other things that come to mind as possible improvements? Okay. So how about as a proposed, as a draft action plan, Mark, um, Summarize the improvements into the Google Season of Docs pages on Jenkins.io. Uh, refine the process description there to include the proposed improvements. Because I think this one and this one and this one, all three of those, can be just part of our standard process in 2021. Yes, that's great. Any other action plan that you'd like? So this didn't address our WSL1 challenges. Do we want an action plan relative, related to that? Um, so Oleg mentioned, I don't know, that he might have been able to help. So I don't know if um, there's a possibility or if there's a way to work with him to maybe like work on a tutorial or something that could help um, solve that. Okay, yeah, so his, his experience with WSL1 and how it works. That's good, I like that. If um, he could help um, resolve the issue I have, then I could work on the tutorial. Good, okay. So Zina, do you want to attempt to schedule that session with him? Would you like me to schedule it and, and facilitate it? Yes, please. Okay, so let me, uh, it, will, it will be after January. Uh, he's yes. largely unavailable during the holiday period here. Great, okay, good. Anything else on our action plan? So we had mentioned tickets. Do we want to, or and outline? And between those two, it feels like we ought to get something there. Is that something we put in the process document? Yes, I think that should be in. in yeah, so include outline and destination for the content, destinations for the content in the proposal. Good, okay. All right, any other? Suggestions for improvements.
Okay, well, so let's, I propose we call the retrospective done. We're a little bit beyond our typical 30 minute limit. Zenob, do you have time to continue? Kristen, do you have time to continue? Yes, I do. Um, I think I have to, I have to run to another meeting, but um, I'll catch up with. Well, and I think, I think these other topics could easily wait until our next meeting. So I'd propose, oh. let's just call them as let them wait so long as we can agree on the next one, which is calendar for the next two weeks. Zenob, are you okay if we skip meeting the 24th and the 31st? Yes, I am. Kristen, that okay for you? So we'll meet again yeah. on, oh dear, wait a sec. I better check my calendar to see if it's January 7th. Okay, January 7th is our next scheduled meeting. I am out of the office on that day and unavailable for a personal thing. And so it may be best, well, Kristen, would you be willing to run the next meeting? Or we could ask Marky to run the next meeting. You don't have access, I don't have Kristen, access, if I remember. Yeah, so I don't have access to any of the, the accounts, but I'm probably going to be out on the, yeah, I'll be there for the January 7th meeting, but I don't have access to run any of the accounts. So okay. I would ask Marky see if he has. Let me check with him and see if he can do it. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Talk Have to you in the new year. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.